Hey guys, this is Rahul and in today we are going to cover the Auto Expo. We're starting with the cars. This is the Hyundai booth or the stall and we are looking at one of the futuristic concept cars from Hyundai. The Leafiel Rouge, uh, kind of like a French name on this one. So this is one of the concept cars. Uh, this is one of the expectations from Expo that you get to see high-end concept cars uh, from every manufacturer so uh, just going to do a walk around since uh, not much information is available from cars like these so pretty much of steel gray Aston Martin kind of a color and uh, we've got some rainbow reflections on it so that's about it we cannot go closer to the interiors but I'll try to give you a good look from uh, there if you can see there's the interiors of the car looks pretty futuristic and uh, let's just read a little bit what it says here so Lefiel Rouge means a common thread and this concept vehicle embodies Hyundai's latest design language sensuous sportiness that is defined by harmony between four fundamental elements in car design, proportions, architecture, styling and technology. So that's the Leafiel Rouge concept. Uh, we'll be moving on to certain other cars now. Let's take a look at the future. We've got electric cars. That's the Kona Electric, right? So we have that over here. It's really bright and the lights here are bright as well. So I'm sure that it looks kind of uh, overexposed. We'll just adjust the exposure. And now we have the Hyundai Kona, Kona Electric with its own charger. And uh, again, this time not much information is given. You have to scan a QR code to get some information. But we with uh, both hands being occupied cannot do that. Anyways, moving on to the next car. This has something of a blue drive technology, probably an electric hybrid. So this is the Nexo from Hyundai. Again, a gray, steel gray, deep kind of color. Let's see what we have. We've got some information on this car at least. So I'm going to move into the spec sheet a little bit if it's visible for you guys i'll read it out motor is it's a fully electric car not a hybrid and power is given in kilowatts 120 max torque is around 395 newton meters which is a lot and electric cars you know instant torque so torque from right from the word go there's no peak torque capacity is 1.56 that's the battery kilowatt hour power output is around 40 kilowatt uh, kilowatts of power and uh, front is a macpherson strut rear is a multi-link type so we've got around uh, this car is giving headroom shoulder room and all of that but i really wanted to see the dimensions of the car so yeah the dimension is just 4.67 meters so it's a uh, above four meter larger suv kind of a car and the wheelbase is 2790 so close to 2800 millimeters so again a full electric car with probably 18 or 19 inch wheels again in a concept stage so that's the car Hyundai Nexo we have got an engine which is a fuel cell vehicles ultimate mobility we this is the future because with fuel cells you know Terminator if you've watched it kind of like an unlimited power supply you don't need to refuel with electrics you currently are at around 300 to 500 kilometers range so once you move into fuel cell that limitation will go away and fuel cell is going to be probably hydrogen powered so that way you can you know drive for longer and the limitations that we have with renewable electric energy right now is the range which will go away now moving into grand i10 neos this i believe has already been launched into the market so we'll just do around a walk around not much pretty looking car to be honest i really like the design 
not going much into the specs but I, I can show you the interiors just reduce the aperture to reduce okay so the interiors look pretty classy to me for a car of this size and it's also pretty spacious as you can see there is a lot of space inside for a small car i don't know how it looks on the camera but i can honestly tell you that this this looks pretty spacious for a small car and even the seats if you look at the seats they've got nice bucket sport kind of seats very thin seats but alcantara excellent interiors for for a car like that so i'm actually pretty much impressed with this car i wasn't expecting such a nice looking small car so this definitely interested me a lot personally from a budget car you know something that i can personally afford so if you guys want you can look into that maybe even uh, look a little bit into the specs since we're already into it so much let's see okay it's okay it's not a swipe screen you have to let's took a look bold this beautiful they're saying and uh, this has got a pretty few smart features like touch screen infotainment smartphone connectivity this is all normal stuff these days but for a small car maybe it's first rare ac vents in such a small car first time i'm seeing that abs cbd standard safety features and i have to look at the crash tests that will not be available here so it has got a 1.2 liter kappa dual vv vt petrol engine or bi fuel which is petrol plus cng engine option which is good for delhi because uh, diesel options are banned here and cng is what most cab drivers prefer so we've got a diesel option 1.2 liter diesel and 1.0 liter uh, 1 liter turbo gdi petrol that's going to provide 100 horsepower and uh, the basic petrol version provides 80 horsepower the cng version pr produces around 70 horsepower and the diesel one produces 75 so that's ps numbers so lots of options starting from 70 horsepower on the cng all the way up to 100 on the turbo petrol which is going to be great got a lot of detail features which we'll not go into but i really like this red colorway and the wheels also look pretty good i think 15 or 16 mm if this car comes out in the same absolute spec with this large wheels then i think it'll be quite a good seller in the market and we have uh, certain things which is the aura this is a honda hyundai aura this is a smaller sedan somewhat in the amaze segment again amazing amount of space inside as you can see we cannot go into the car with the camera setup but i can show you that the interiors just like the other vehicle it's pretty nice so that's the aura let's look into the boot space got a pretty big boot space not going much into the other stuff like engine and all we would uh, rather go into the other vehicles this is the elantra so existing cars are not much going into that the hyundai venue which was launched earlier this year and finally we'll be moving into the hyundai creta which was launched yesterday i still don't know where that is but we'll look into that quite obviously we'll be looking into the hyundai creta and this is uh, obviously very crowded some of the hyundai sports cars 
this is a concept sports cars or their actual rally vehicles let's take a look okay so that's nice and here we have uh, other other cars so that's the Hyundai i30 fastback <laughs> and this one whoa this one is amazing I'll just show you the car blacked out wheels Brembo monoblock calipers nice graphics this is kind of like the cool car to have obviously not coming to India guys so that's the back side of the car and this is the RM19 full-on need for speed guys for WRC yeah this one is for WRC they're actual WRC vehicles they have brought and this is what they do to you know pull in the crowds now moving towards the final vehicle the Hyundai Creta just launched yesterday so we'll be looking into that let's just first look at the specs right and let's look into the specs I'm sure you can see so first of all we've got sporty rear spoiler boomerang shaped LED tail lamps these are all the small bits I really like the panoramic sunroof so Creta is actually the highest selling vehicle in this category the small SUV category however they were outperformed by Kia Seltos after it was launched so they've come back and not much information on this I was expecting a bit more nope so I was expecting specs and all that but only features are there but maybe we can get brochure for the Creta and we can show you <laughs> can you tell me the specs okay you're not <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, maybe he can. Uh, I... So this is the Creta. We'll just show you till we get time to talk to one of the Hyundai guys about it. Pretty futuristic design. Uh, you wish the lights, LEDs were on, but very big DRLs, strong grille. Hyundai is really putting it out of the park these days with all their futuristic designs I still don't have specs so probably we'll have to talk to someone about the specs okay this guy is from Hyundai so yesterday Shahrukh Khan was here to launch this vehicle One point five is sir. Engine three One point five liter petrol and diesel, both in manual and automatic, and one point four liter turbo petrol. Ah, one point four turbo and then DCT. One point four turbo petrol DCT. Okay. Can you speak into the mic about the engine options? Okay, you are going. No, no, he is the person who is from planning. Just talk about the power options. You cannot. Okay. So, so that's it, guys. They're not shedding much into the things. But what I heard was the uh, there's two engine options: 1.4 and 1.5 liter turbo petrol as well as diesel. I really like the wheels. So we're going to close into the wheels. That's a pretty nice wheel out there. And I crank up the yeah, as so well. Okay, as you can see. 
that's the newly launched Creta blacked out windows it's locked unfortunately the air is locked as well so cannot show you the interiors unfortunately so pretty big tail light so that's the Creta walk around and finally the Tucson which is the bigger SUV not much interest in there but as usual very big and luxurious interiors so that's it from the Hyundai booth I guess it's time to close out we just show you this car from the front and that's it from us here at Hyundai it's really unfortunate that these people when we talk to them sometimes about the information they don't really share but it's okay I guess 